Hey, welcome back to another coding tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the JavaScript array method splice. The splice method allows you to remove elements from an array or also replace elements in an array. So to get started with the splice method, we just need to set up an array. So I'm going to set up an array of country names. Here, America, UK, Australia and India. So the array method splice, this actually changes the original array. So if we were to delete two elements out of the array, then the original array will be changed. It doesn't create a new array. However, you can return the deleted items. So let's test this out. So if we just set up a new variable called deleted, and just say countries.splice and open our bracket. The first number that we need to indicate here in the splice array method is the index in which you want to start deleting or removing items. So in this example, I'm going to input zero. So that means it's going to start on position zero, which in our case is America. And the next number is the deletion count or the delete count. So how many items in the array do you want to delete starting at position zero? So for this example, let's just say one. And if we console.log are deleted and run this, you can see clearly that our output is America. And this has just outputted the deleted items which we have spliced. So starting at position zero, we've deleted one item and we've returned that into a variable called deleted. And you can clearly see that it's outputted America. Now at this point as well, if we were to output the countries array and hit run, you can see that the countries array now no longer has the zero position America because we have deleted it. So to show you another further example, if we change this one to two and console.log deleted, you can see that it's going to delete America and UK. And that is because it's starting at zero and it's deleting one, two positions in the array or elements in the array. So what we can do here then is we can start this start index at any index in the array. So if we were to start at two, that would be zero, one, two. So we're going to start at Australia. And if we delete one, this should hopefully give us an array without Australia in it. So if we run this, you can see that our array countries is now left with America, UK and India and Australia is no longer there. And that is because we started at position two in the array and we've deleted one item. So we've deleted Australia out. If we were to change this and input another parameter here and call it Poland and run this, you can see that in the position that Australia was in beforehand, it has now replaced it with Poland. And the reason for this is because if we supply more parameters after the start index and the delete count, it will replace the value in that array position. So what it's saying is start at position two, which is Australia, delete one, so delete Australia, and replace it with Poland. And you can see the output here. It has outputted America, UK, Poland, and India. And that's because we've said to replace it with Poland. If we were to change this one to two and hit run, you can see that what it's done here is it started at position two. It's deleted two items from the array starting at that position. So it's deleted Australia and India, and then it has replaced the index here with Poland. And because we've deleted the last two elements, Poland is now on the end. So this is a really easy way to remove items out of an array or indeed replace items in an array. We can take note of the deleted items which we have spliced out of the array and store them in a variable just like I've demonstrated here. Or we can just alter the original array. So that's pretty much it for the splice JavaScript array method. 
If this video helped you and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these tips, tricks, tutorials or reviews and walkthroughs in the future. I'll see you in the next video.